You guys, breakups can be a beautiful thing. Hey guys, Miss Singlefied here, answering guys dating questions from a girl's perspective. I will not bore you with all the details of why I haven't made a video in a while. You can stay tuned until the end to see some pictures from my recent travels. But this year has been a little bit crazy. I've been traveling a lot. There's been a lot of projects that I've been working on. But I do have one major, I guess is a re-announcement, is that I started a podcast about dating. And it's specifically about dating in San Francisco, but it really applies to dating anywhere in the world. So the podcast is called Dateable, and you can check it out at datablepodcast.com. It's spelled like dateable. In each episode, we have a guest on telling us a dating story, and the stories vary. There, some are very serious, some are very silly. It's just been such a great experience learning and hearing about what other people are going through so you don't feel alone in all the dating shenanigans that you're going through. So definitely check out the podcast. If you're in San Francisco or the Bay Area, I would love to hear from you, maybe have you as a guest on the show, or you can even come by our studio and be an audience member. All right, without further ado, Question of the day comes from Ken, who says, Dear Miss Singlefied, I've been seeing this girl for about six months and I really like her. The only issue is we fight all the time. We break up and then we get back together. We break up and get back together. Seems very tumultuous. Since this is my first relationship, at what point should you end a relationship? Or do you just keep going in a relationship until someone gives up? Well, Ken, I gotta hand it to you. That's actually a very emotionally intelligent question, the way you crafted it, because it comes from a lot of self-awareness. Recently, as part of this podcast too, we've been exploring this idea of breakups. And there's always been this negative connotation to breaking up, to ending things. Because it often means that two people aren't getting along, there's some sort of negative energy between the two, or there's opposing energy, or there's a really good reason for a breakup, like someone cheats, there's betrayal, or there's overall unhappiness. But here's a challenge for you guys. I want you guys to think about breakups without the negative connotation. And here's what I mean. People come into your life for a reason and they're not meant to stay forever. There's a reason why the universe brought you two together, to learn from each other, to grow with each other. But when you've learned everything you possibly can from that person, it's time to let them go. And it's time for that relationship to end. And that doesn't necessarily have to be negative. One of the worst things you can do in a relationship is let it drag on. Because the more you let it drag on, the more negative it becomes, and the higher your chances of ending up hating each other. So here are a few signs that you should be ending your relationship. One, you keep repeating the same issues over and over again. When you keep revisiting the same issues without a resolution, that's when you're really dragging on a relationship. You either have to sit down and say, we keep having these same issues, Let's communicate about how we can resolve this, or if you don't find a resolution, you have to part ways. Number two, you're starting to feel resentment. And this usually happens when one partner has changed for the other person, and usually this is voluntary. But this becomes problematic when, let's say you're the person who has changed for your partner, you start resenting them. Let's say you moved to a different state for this person, and you're really starting to resent them because you really hate where you live. Or you've changed your lifestyle for this other person, but it's not the lifestyle that you're naturally used to. When one person in that relationship starts having these resentful feelings for each other, then that relationship is becoming damaged. The resolution for this is, again, you have to communicate your dissatisfaction or you part ways. Number three, lack of forgiveness. Now, in this video, I'm not talking about the explosive breakups where you break up over something huge that happened. I'm talking about maybe you've already tried to work through a couple issues. So number three is this idea of forgiveness. Maybe one person has done something wrong and the other person has agreed to forgive them, but they haven't fully forgiven the other person. You can tell when your partner hasn't exactly forgiven you when they keep bringing up the situation that instigated this whole thing. So let's say you made a mistake. You confessed to your partner. Your partner was upset but said, I love you, I will forgive you. Okay, 
That should be the end of the conversation. But if your partner keeps saying things or hinting at things still related to that original issue, then your partner hasn't exactly forgiven you. And this goes the other way too. Let's say your partner did something, confessed to you, you agree to forgive him or her. If you can't let go and you can't forgive, so you can either make a commitment to forgive and say, I will give myself a timeline. I will give myself two months to forgive. Or you say, maybe forgiveness is just not in the stars for this relationship and it's time to part ways. So those are just some of the three main signs you should be looking for. But what I really want you to think about is the repetition. If you keep going around in circles in a relationship, you keep repeating the same issues, the same problems, the same discussions, it's almost like deja vu, that relationship is dragging on. You're not making any progress. You're not being productive in that relationship. And it's time to end it because if you keep letting it drag on, you're gonna end up hating each other. Think of a relationship as this beautiful thing where two strangers come together, you have a life together, but also know that some people aren't meant to stay forever. You will learn and grow from every relationship that you enter into, but the minute you start feeling like you're going backwards, you're not making any progress, you have to communicate with your partner. Either say, hey, we have to find a resolution and move forward, or we part ways. You guys, breakups can be a beautiful thing. When you break up with someone, be grateful. Be grateful for who they are. Be grateful for what they've taught you, but also be grateful enough to set them free so you can both go find someone else who's more suitable. All right, Ken, I hope that answers your question. You guys, don't forget to check out datablepodcast.com for our weekly episodes about dating in San Francisco, and stay tuned for some pictures from my recent travels. With that, you've been single -fied.